Alright, we got War Splendon. Probably said that wrong, but. Don't play particularly well here over in the UK, metaphorically, of course. But um, it's a pretty challenging golf course. A lot of ups and downs, and the greens are pretty concaved and kind of like bowls. Wait, convex? Chapel, I think it's convex now. Um, starting off with a decent drive, though. We'll take anything center of the fairway. You're going to see probably five or six rounds on the old GS Pro 1. Old as in like three days old. Um, GS Pro 2 is definitely downloaded. The new rounds are obviously being played on that, but I still am editing some of these old ones. So you'll see a couple from version 1 uh, after the GS Pro 2 release, uh, which those videos are already on the channel. Uh, about the release and the features and blah blah blah. This one heading a little bit right. Hopefully kicks left. Doesn't have that tree in the way. Let's see, not too much. One, two, two. Firing right at it. I was hoping I'd get some fringe boost right there, but... Still even through three. Fourth hole's 170 yard. I'm playing the yellow tees. There were some interesting uh, tee assignments on this one. Like the, the white tees were up, and then the yellow, and then it was blue and then black, or black and then blue. They were all backwards. So yellow was like around 6,000 yards or something. So we played that one. Uh, struck that par 3 shot pretty good, but went a little long and had to chip backwards. Kind of topped this one. 9 degree launch is usually a top. I should be aiming you know, out to the left more. Uh, luckily I struck it well, and it's going to roll up and give me at least a chance to save par here. 50 yard shot. Roll right. Oh. Just close the face a little bit, and that's going to be our first bogey of the day. Par 5, 6th, 460 yards. Could be reachable if uh, I didn't go right and short and spinny. It's going to make it a little harder. Just a layup here. A cool looking shot there. A little low fade. 83 in, par 5. Good birdie chance here. Trying to keep it straight. And tugged a little bit. And short. Gave the hill a little too much reverence and uh, yeah, didn't really push through the ball much. It's going to be a par though, and staying at plus one, 150 yard par three next, playing about 160, but with a little helping wind. I'm trying to play a fade in there, but that just wasn't quite the direction I needed. Not happy with that chip. And then that kind of seemed like a misread. Uh, maybe read the club going forward and thought it was the ball because it came off like a putt. Ends up being a double bogey, not a good score. But overall, we're still doing okay. It's three through eight. And a shorter par four hitting um, my driving iron, which I'm just finally starting to get used to this thing. Um, I seem to tow it a lot, but if I can hit 208, um, barely hitting it off the ground, that's going to be a good start. Distance correct here, but 
Just a little bit of a draw spin on it. Not even going to call that a miss. Could have even been the wind influencing that a little bit. 50 now. Um, hitting a hybrid. Leaving about an 8 iron in. Online, but it's going to be a little short. Oh, no, good bounce. Just very little spin on there. Might have been thinned a little bit. Get one of those back. Plus two. Beautiful here over a lake. 121. I don't think I was playing a fade. That looked more like I was trying to hit a draw and pull it. Chippy out of the bunker shot next. Go in. A ah, couple rotations away from a chip in birdie. We'll settle for the par though and stay at plus two. 526 yards. timing on that, but a little left. I'm getting big into trying to recognize my own body sequencing. Um, you know, every once in a while you feel yourself and it feels like you take a really easy swing and the ball goes 10 yards further and it's because you just did everything at the right time. When your shoulders go too far ahead, then you have to throw your hands, and that's a lot of effort. Um, when the club head's nice and timed up with your hip and shoulder turn, I feel like you can get effortless power, and that's really what I want to do, is just be effortless around 18 holes of golf. We're sitting at plus three, 12th hole. It's another par five. 225, it is reachable here, but that's a top and a laser beam over to the right side. Gonna have a pretty good angle in though. Nice little flick, but it does not check at all. Hundred and seventy yard par three thirteenth now. Plus three just kinda cruising at the moment. Love that shot shape right there. It's got to go. I mean, we five more yards and that shot shape, and we're we're loving life. Three eight three, it's playing uphill. See, I could tell my shoulders went so far without my hands and the club. That that's the only result and uh, on video it's like really obvious but I want to get to the point where this is my favorite shot of the round by the way sorry to interrupt myself but the lasery little three iron under the tree was my favorite shot we got 118 left trying to save a par a couple bounces now a lot of spin It's going to be another bogey, but plus four, going to 15. It's another par five. Let's get one back. Really liked that drive. Looked like the hands got out in front. The club had released forward. We got a little bit of ball speed. It was still said it was a little spinny, but uh, definitely got there. And then two, three, one. Trying to play a tight draw right in between these two bunkers um, with that three iron. It actually went dead on line. Could have gave it a go and seen what happened, but an easy chip here, hopefully, for a birdie, and I just fluffed it. All right, 16, 17, and 18. My absolute nemesis holes. Let's get one out of the way right here. 140, 
nine. And a really good shot there. We're taking that all day. Staying at plus four, 17th coming up. Let's try and stave off disaster. <laughs> I actually get nervous now, 17 and 18, because I do things like this. Yanks it left. Gets a decent kick, though. We're going to be sort of in the rough. Got to come around this tree. <laughs> Trying to hit a draw. And luckily didn't hit any of those branches. But this is a par 4, so now we're trying to get up and down here for a par. 76, make it happen. Oh, the distance might have been close if it was right on the edge. Alright, take a bogey. 18th hole now. Looked pretty good. It's going right though. The wind's not helping. And it sits in the rough 222 away from par 4. It's not the hole you want to end on. Get out of the bunker. Oh, really lucky bounce there. Alright, we're going to have a short one in to try and get up and down. 39, 9 yards on the scope. That's a little too much to me. Oh, just by a yard or two. Another bogey, so not a great finish, but a fun round at War Splendon. And again, you'll see a few of these GS Pro version 1.7, whatever rounds. Uh, and then the round version 2 rounds will start uh, fairly soon after I get these off the docket. Like and subscribe.